More than 10 billion baguettes are sold in France every single year. That means on average, each person in France consumes half a baguette every day. And do you really blame them? Even the baking process sounds glorious. <laughs> The French take their bread so seriously that in 1993, they created a law stating that baguettes can only be made with the following ingredients. Wheat flour, water, yeast, and salt. But if the ingredients are all the same, what makes some baguettes better than others? Well, we came to Paris to find out and reached out to the youngest winner of the Best Baguette in Paris Award, Mahmoud M. Seti. Ian reached out to Mahmoud and we're gonna be baking with him today. He's an extremely accomplished baker who actually won the Best Baguette in Paris in 2018. By doing so, he got to bake for the president for an entire year. That's an extremely amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. He is also the son of a baker and his father has a bakery across the street which is so cute and he's got five bakeries here in Paris. He's going to tell you guys a little bit about what we're going to do today. Pour commencer, on va d'abord pétrir la tradition. Donc je vais vous expliquer tout le système et le procédé euh, comment on fabrique la tradition tous les jours et puis ensuite on fera un peu d'éclair, un peu de croissant. Voilà. C'est parti. <musique> Mamou just explained to us the process of his meeting. He uses a technique called autolyse. They just have flour and water to start and they'll mix it and then let it sit for three hours. This is what it looks like after it sits for three hours in this machine. Afterwards, they'll add the yeast, water, and salt. He did step one at 5 a.m. and now we're on to step two. When you use this technique, on peut, uh, en fait, on peut choisir de rajouter de l'eau froide ou chaude. La température. You can all time control the temperature. He needs to do this because he works upstairs. The doors are always opening and closing. So right now the dough is cold because it's a bit chilly out. So he's gonna add warm water. Now we're adding the salt. That is a lot of salt, but that's also a lot of dough. They are putting yeast in there and it's helping. Oof. <laughs> His favorite step is pouring the water in. If you hear it, it goes He's creating bubbles in his dough, but it is like music to the ears. I liked it too. Oh, there's that dough. Right behind me, in this batch, this can make 500 baguettes, which is mind-blowing. And that's how much they sell usually in a day. Milka, Hello. she is uh, Mahmoud's wife. She's helping us translate, have fun today. Milka's having a baby girl actually really soon. You said it's yes. almost nine months? Yes. You look amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. And it's going to be a baby. Baby girl. Baby girl, yes. Alisa. Alisa. Yeah. Comment congratulations down below. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a beanbag chair. If you need too much, it's bad. Yes. So what texture is perfect for a baguette? It's like chewing gum. Ah, okay, like yes. that. <laughs> if you have good kneading, you have a good bread. And if you have good bread, people come. Après, il y a plusieurs étapes, bien sûr. Le façonnage, la pousse, la cuisson. Mais le pétrissage, pour moi, est le plus important. We will let this sit for one more hour. During that hour, all these bubbles will start forming, and that's when you know it's done at the end. Something very fascinating is at the storefront, you feel like bakeries are very small, but now that we're welcomed in the back, it's actually very large. They've got a whole back area here and a basement area. So that's really cool. I feel like I'm in Ratatouille. We are gonna go downstairs and make an eclair and maybe a croissant. The hardest thing about being a baker, this is my opinion, is the consistency and precision. It's a science, right? You can't mess up. While if I'm cooking a meal, I can add more salt, I can do this. You can't do that when you bake, and that's why I'm so bad at baking. I feel like this is everyone's oh, okay. heaven. Look at how many pastries all the way down. Do you this? Never. I mean, like on a cake. Ah, okay. <laughs> when you dry. Yeah. The wheel? The wheel. Uh-huh. Your hand, the wheel. Okay. And you push with this. So look at all of these. And then you get down to Anna's. Ta -da! Feel how casual he was about this. In 2017, they won the best apple tart in France. We actually watched him peeling the apples earlier and I was fascinated wondering what they were doing. Oh, <laughs> oh dang! That's how you gotta do it. Mm. Really good. You just need to come to one of those bakeries and try as much as you can when you're in Paris. I've never been in heaven more than right now. 
And after you're making the eclairs, you come back up and the bubbles are rising. Inside the baguette, when you open it up, you're gonna be able to see bubbles. I just asked Mocha if she's craving anything during pregnancy and she's like, it's the best because we have the bakery and we get to just <laughs> pick and choose whatever we want. Let's be honest, the best husband to have during pregnancy would be a baker. All this dough behind me is for tomorrow. They will put it into containers just like this and then it sits overnight and is ready for the morning. The reason they put in these boxes is to weigh it. Right now we have 8.445 kilograms. I never know what that is. <laughs> and then after they weigh it, they put it in this contraption over here. This is where they cut it up in 20 different pieces. And this is it. This is one baguette, right? Yes. Now Mahmoud is taking each piece and putting it into this contraption. And this is a machine that will make it faster to create each baguette. On va les laisser reposer pendant 15 minutes. Et après, on va utiliser la machine, la façonneuse, pour voir et transformer en baguette. Wow. On va donner la forme de baguette. We were just making baguettes by hand, but there is a machine to do it because, again, he has to make 500 a day. But he said that all bakers need to know how in case the machine breaks. So you're not a real baker unless you know how to roll a baguette. Ralph, what's your favorite bakery item? Oh. Fruit chops. Uh, mon gâteau préféré, c'est le fraisier, clairement. Mon pâtisserie préféré, c'est le mulfé. Ma pâtisserie préférée, la crème brûlée. Crème brûlée. Yes. Olka, what is your favorite? Opéra, with chocolate and coffee. All right, Mahmoud, what is your favorite? The pig. The pig? Oh yeah, the little pig. I think I like all things croissants. I think they're the most flavorful because why? They have so much butter. So now we make croissant like this. Oh my. This machine is a flattener for the dough. Look how massive this piece of dough is. He just cut it in half. As you can see, it's a triangle. We're gonna roll it from top to bottom. So this will rest overnight, so this won't be done till tomorrow. Mine is not good. <laughs> Mine's like chunky. Yours is good. It's okay. Yeah, that's better he than mine. He definitely helped me. The reason he has to go so fast is because the butter will melt and it will ruin the croissant. Yes. I'm put it in the fridge overnight. After all that work, I mean, there's a lot more that goes into a baguette than I thought. And now we're gonna go ahead and bake it. Donc la dernière étape c'est le coup de lame. On va donner un coup de lame pour l'esthétique et aussi pour euh, faire échapper le gaz qui est à l'intérieur. Donc si on ne donne pas le coup de lame, la baguette sera moche et en plus le gaz s'échappera où il veut. Now it's time to go in and I present our baguettes for the day. Wow. My cut right here was not very good and you can tell because the bread flattens when it goes in the oven. Mahmoud's bread, as you see, look how thick, beautiful, they are so perfect. If you see all inside, your bread, it's good. Let me hear that. What makes this unique is that it's very crunchy as you can see in here. And then the inside is humid. So when you touch it, it's a little wet. So much better than all the baguettes we've had. They've been so tough. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. Yes. Some are good, but... Mm. If I find a partner, I go to America. Yes, he wants to open up a bakery somewhere in the U.S. New York City sounds cool. If someone out there wants to, you know, partner up, then we can eat this all the time. Mahmoud is sending us away with our prized baguettes that we made today. They also gave us a baguette cutter, oh, or like a God. bread cutter. We have to show you. Right on it's arrival, so cool. they gave us a gift. Make us more gifts. Oh, Talk about. Mocha, <laughs> look at you behind here, giving away all the goodies. I was so grateful that Mahmoud and Mocha invited us into their bakery and took the time out of their day to teach not only us, but every one of you guys the secrets behind baking the best French baguette. Nice, nice to meet so you. Mocha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Anna, bye-bye from behind bye. the camera. Au revoir. Merci Au revoir. beaucoup. If you guys missed our other two Paris videos, make sure to go check those out. We spent 10 days showing you the best things to do in this amazing city. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. We will see you in the next one.